Welcome back all my gadget wearing type 1s, 2s, Mondays and Lattas. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a paramedic, firefighter and a type 1 diabetic. I got a question. Are you having trouble finding an easy app or tutorial to help you view your CGM readings from your smartwatch? Well, I've got an easy solution for you. So smartwatch wearers, are you ready? Let's get into this tutorial. Now I'd like to introduce you to the Blos app. This is a Wear OS watch face app that elegantly shows your glucose values utilizing the Dexcom Share. And this one's pretty well polished. This watch face will provide you with super clean, easy to read glucose trends, glucose target ranges, your watch's battery level, and minutes since last reading. There's even a double tap feature that displays detailed graphs for 6, 12, and 24 hours. Now before we begin, there's a few things that I need you to know. This watch face works with the Dexcom G6 CGM system, and it requires you to set up the Dexcom Share app. After you've installed the Dexcom Share app on your phone, follow yourself and then remember your login credentials. If you don't remember your Dexcom credentials, they're the same ones you use to sign up for Clarity on the Dexcom website. You'll need them again to connect your Blos watch face to your CGM readings. Okay, once you're done setting all that up, when you go to the Play Store, um, if you try to type in Blos from the Play Store on your phone, the app will come up, but it's not going to let you download it to your phone. Even if you try switching devices like I am here, I switched to my Samsung watch. It's not going to let me download it directly from the phone to my watch. Uh, unfortunately, I, I scrolled through this whole thing and there were no options for that. And so for that reason, I didn't think I could do it. But then I realized, what if I just tried directly from my watch? So this is the current one I have reading my CGM readings. If you like this one, let me know in the comments. I can give you a tutorial on this one. Uh, this is just some tweaks I did from the previous one. But what you'll do is you go to the Play Store from your watch and go ahead and type in Blos. I'm going to do it here using my finger. The correct spelling is B-O-L-S-E and I hope I'm saying it right. If not, please correct me as well in the comments. I'll try to say it right next time. So as you see here, it's coming up. It's actually got a 5.0 star rating, which is good. Downloading and install does take a while. I'll speed it up for you. That way you don't have to be here all day. I do respect your time. Let's open up this app. Okay, not configured. Yep, let's go ahead and configure this thing. Now again, use that username and password from your Dexcom share. Now here it was giving me problems of saying wrong credential server. I was actually in the wrong region. So once I fixed that, it was a lot nicer to me. And it went ahead and let me in. So I verify that and then I realized uh, I actually have an option here to scroll down. So what are my units? Well, I live in the US. I like milligrams per deciliter, um, AM and PM clock. Yep, I wanna see my clock. Here, you're just gonna set your low and high ranges. So I don't like being low uh, notified unless I'm gonna go below 60. And I don't wanna be notified unless I'm going above 180 because that's what happens after I eat. Unless I pre-bolus. All right, alarms. Um, yeah, I wanna try that alarm. So I'm going to turn that on, but it is, I think this is set to millimole. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch this to what a milligram per deciliter alarm would be. I want it to vibrate below 60 milligrams per deciliter vibrate on low. Um, below, I don't know, below that I guess would be uh, 50. So we'll go 50 here. And high. I'm going to go ahead and skip the high for now and then show different, show battery, show difference, 
kind of color. Um, I like blue. I think I'll just stick with blue for now. Okay, let's go back. Long press on the face. Let's see if it's in here. And just a reminder, if content like this specific for diabetics like you is important, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'll do my best to keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of diabetes. Of course it's not. So let's add it. I don't know why that little dragon's there. I promise I don't use the dragon. But, okay, scroll, 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 scroll for an hour. And eventually, I will find it. There it is. Bam. Let's see how long it takes to work. Immediately. Perfect. So there you have it. Good looking app. Um, let's go ahead and double tap. Yep, it is showing me a summary status. There's some graphs in there, configurations, if I want to change the colors. There's a log and raw data. The raw data is pretty cool. Um, here's the graphs. If you scroll down, you'll see the rest of them. Here, I was just trying to scroll left and right and it didn't work, but scroll up and down to see the 12 hour and the 24. And if I go back, um, here's where I can just continue to configure. I will show you another color here. Try it out, the green. And when I go back, there it is. Pretty elegant. That's a very clean looking watch face. So before I go, I just want to let you know, um, if you do go back into your phone and you look under the watch faces, it will come up. You can't configure it from here like you can the other watch faces. Um, there are no settings that you can mess with, um, but it's there. You'll be able to view it. All right. You're almost done. Just a bit of advice. Uh, the CGM readings should take about 35 seconds to update. So in the meantime, what you should do is go to your notifications in your phone and in your watch and make sure that you turn them on so that the vibration low alert will work. I made sure I did that after setup and first time I got a low alarm alert, I did it on purpose and it actually worked and it notified me and it let me know right away that my sugar was going low. Again, I want to thank you for joining me. I'm Ben. I'm type me. I'll see you next time.